Yep, you read the title. A lot of you guys have been asking how I make my rendered thumbnails, so in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make a gorilla tag render, like this one, in Blender. So the first thing you want to do is click on the first link in the description, and then click this green little button, then select download zip to get a whole folder of pretty much all the cosmetics in the game. Next you want to go to the second link in the description, and then just follow my steps to download the right version of this monkey rig. Once you downloaded both of those things, you want to go to your downloads folder and extract the zip file. Then you can open the Blender project named IKRig, something like that, I don't know. <laughs> now, once you're in Blender, I usually like to go to this little bar up here and click the far right one for a nice little background and smoother lighting. Now, to change the monkey's little name tag, all you have to do is click it, go over to object mode and change it to edit mode, then click the text again and type whatever you want it to say. Changing the color of the fur is really easy. All you have to do is make sure you click the fur and not these little lines. Then you want to go over to this sidebar and select this little funny checkered ball. Then you want to go to base color and change it to whatever you want your color to be. Posing the monkey is a little bit more difficult. Click the little lines this time, change object mode to pose mode, head on over to the left side of the screen and drag this little menu out, and then just use those options to move the limbs around. So now that you've posed it, it's time to add the cosmetics. Head over to file, go down to import, select FBX, and then locate the folder you downloaded earlier. Then keep clicking until you see these three folders, click the type of cosmetic you want to add, and then try to find the cosmetic you're looking for. Import it and then move it to fit on your monkey. Now adding the textures can be a bit tricky because you do need Discord. But if you do have a Discord account, go to the third link in the description to join Nacho Engine's server. In the server, go to Community Assets and scroll up until you find an image with the textures of the cosmetic you're looking for. Then download the image. Back in Blender, click the cosmetic, and then at the top of the screen, select Shading. In this little field that pops up, just zoom out until you see this orange box. Click the folder icon and select the image you downloaded from Discord. If you want an extra pixelated gorilla tag look on the cosmetic, change this from linear to closest. The next step is completely optional, and it's adding a background. But I usually add backgrounds because I think this sky backdrop looks pretty boring. So to add a background, go to the fourth link in the description, and then in the search bar, search something like landscape or backdrop environment maybe, and then find one that you like. Just make sure that you're actually allowed to use this and that it doesn't say you're not allowed to use it in the description. Once you've found a background that you like, Go to Download 3D Model, and if it's available, select GLTF. Go to your Downloads folder and extract the zip file. Then go back to Blender, go back to Import, but this time select GLTF. Locate the folder you downloaded from Sketchfab, and inside that, select the GLTF file. Now you should have the background in Blender, so just resize it and move it around however you want. If you want to change the atmosphere or just the vibe in general of your scene, go back to the sidebar and go to the globe icon, click this little arrow for the drop down menu and just change these colors to whatever you want. Now the last thing you're going to want to do is click the add button at the top of the screen and add a camera object. Now click the camera object and go into shading mode again. In shading mode, click this little camera icon on the right and then move around to control where the camera is going to be looking. Now on the sidebar, go to this camera icon, scroll down to where it says depth of field, enable it, select the color picker, click the monkey, and then you'll have a depth of field effect. Lastly, click render, render image, and there should be a pop-up window where you just have to wait for it to load, click image, and export your render. And that's pretty much it. I hope this helped you guys. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's anything I missed. Now, please stop asking me how to make these. PLEASE!